brother! Guys, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! And welcome to a special Monday edition of J vs. Ben, and not just Monday edition, but holiday edition as Ho well. Holiday For edition. For Christmas. Today we are going to be taking on the ultimate Christmas Harry Potter quiz. <laughs> Okay, we have 35 questions to get through, so, so it's a lengthy many. quiz, but we encourage you to play along with us. We'll have a link to the quiz in the description below. You will have a bit of an advantage, though. The way it works is Derek is going to ask us the questions, and Ben and I have to answer them from memory, even though the quiz online gives multiple choice. Yeah, so if you want to play like the hardcore version, try to find a way with your friends so that like they can ask you the questions and you don't have the multiple choice answers. Right. The Speaking of the multiple choice though, if we both agree that we are stumped, we can ask for the multiple choice. And I have a feeling this is going to be a quiz where there's a lot of like, who gave Harry this item on this birth or this Christmas? And I, it's gonna. I think we're gonna need it more than we have in the past because it's such tiny. Th I bet it's things like that. It's so true. I'm. I'm. I loved the Harry Potter chapter. Like every single time I was reading one of these books, I was. Oh, always, the Christmas chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did I say the Harry Potter? Chapter? Harry Potter chapter. I love the Harry Potter chapter of Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> no, I love. I love the Christmas chapter every single time. It was always so fun to like hear what Harry got, but now I'm so nervous because it's so many different things. I always feel like it must have been a challenge for her to like come up with things that are interesting for him to get, but that aren't too useful for him to use. Sure, sure. Lots of candy. Yes, lots of candy. Okay, let's get going. Let's Derek's get going. like, I need mean, I, right. I 35. There's just so many, so many questions. Number one, complete the sentence. Blank looked like a Christmas card. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. You good? I think so. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was almost bad. Okay. I think this is right. Yeah, I, okay. I don't know. Three, okay. two, one. The burrow. The answer is Hogsmeade. Oh, oh man. This is going to be hard. Man, I initially wrote down Luna. <laughs> <laughs> Because that would have made sense. There's one where she's dressed like a Christmas yeah. tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. She's just so for the decorated. Slughorn's party. Sure, sure. Okay. O for one. Number two. What color were the jumpers given to Ron Weasley by his mother every Christmas? Maroon. Maroon Woo! is correct. It always annoys me that Ron doesn't like maroon because it's like one of Gryffindor's colors. Well, sort of. Yeah. I think there's a difference between. Is it like scarlet and gold? Yeah, like I don't think maroon is one of their colors. Yeah, I think it's I maroon get, you know, just happens to be a shade of red. It happens to be this. I understand actually because if someone were to say like Virginia Tech's colors were like burgundy and orange, I'd be like, it's maroon. maroon. <laughs> yeah. Question three. All right, which of the following is not celebrated every year with a feast at Hogwarts? Christmas Day, Halloween, Valentine's Day. Three, two, one. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. That, that was an easy one. Although, Gilderoy Lockhart. I always think it's out of character for Ginny to send Harry the song in the yeah. Chamber of Secrets. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that that's one of those where you're like, how developed was the future of that relationship mm -hmm. in advance? <laughs> sure. yeah. At that point, he was still going to marry Cho. Yeah. No. It just feels wrong. <laughs> All right, number four. Who was Fleur Delacour's partner at the Yule Ball? I have a name that came to my mind, and it might not even be from Harry Potter at all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I have no clue. I don't know why this name came to my mind, but I'm so sure that it's from something else. I'm pretty... I'm like 99% that this is the right answer. I know, and I just... I just listened in uh, Deathly Hallows to the memory where Fleur goes by... Snape and Dumbledore with this person. Oh, wow. That's really specific. Yeah. Well, then I bet you get it right. I don't think I do. All right, three, two, one. Roger Davies. Oh, my gosh. You're so close. Adam it Davies? is Roger Davies. Oh, Goodness. so close. Man. So close. Is Adam Davies something? Because, like, the name sounds so... It sounds so... like you're mixing, like, Adam Driver. Maybe. Yeah, we've been talking about Star Wars a lot. Maybe. What family heirloom was Harry given as a Christmas present in his first year? The Invisibility Cloak. The Invisibility Cloak. Question six. Aunt Marge once gave Dudley a computerized robot for Christmas. What did she give to Harry in the same year? <sighs> My God, this is hard. Ben knows. I do know Oh, no. Oh, no. There is a reason why I know this one, though. Oh, it's obviously, man. it's like it's obviously like rubbish of some form. <laughs> rubbish. It's, it's like, oh, sucks. This sucks. 
You're totally going to get one back on me here. Um... I'm trying to decide if it has to do with her dogs at all. It's even more confusing because the Dursleys send such pitiful gifts I know. every year. I know. It's like it's like on the tip of my brain. This sucks. I hate it. <laughs> the tip it. of the brain. Tip of, uh, uh, you're gonna tell me I'm gonna be like. Mm. Jay's had so many sleepless sleepless mm. nights lately due to having a brand new baby at home. So if I, I feel confident, this isn't it. All right, three, two, one. I said a dog mole. A box of dog biscuits. Oh, you're so close! <laughs> you're oh, really God, close. I was so close. You were like, I wonder if it has something to do with their dogs. I'm like, no. <laughs> Will you really pull this, oh, like, off of... No. Oh, man. I, you know what? I almost wrote down dog food, but it seemed like that was too mean. Like, <laughs> man, I think we probably would have been okay with it. I, I think we, dog food, I think we could have counted. Yeah. That's, that's essential. Uh, is this seven? Seven. Uh, number yes. seven. Which of the following did not adorn any of the Christmas trees in the Great Hall in Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, depending? Hundreds of candles, tiny icicles, or live fairies? Candles. Candles. Live fairies were not on the Christmas tree. Really? Uh, is this one? I remember they said fairies once before. Maybe that's what Flitwick decorated his classroom yes. with. Dang it. Uh, you know, I was like, who would put candles on a tree? Well, it would, you know, that would seem like something that, like, candles on a tree used to be very much a, like a way that they would decorate Christmas trees, mm -hmm. but it would almost seem like the wizarding world would, would do something more spectacular. Sure, I guess sure. you could magically make it so the trees wouldn't burn. Yeah, that would, that that would be, be a that. thing. Yeah. I think I was thinking the candles were very specifically like a Halloween thing, because they float. Mm, sure. Uh, that's, what, that's really the reason I didn't choose it, but... Oh, well. Okay. Man, I'm only four for seven. Ugh. Me too! Oh, boy. We're All tied. Right. Number eight. Number eight. What did Dumbledore swap his pointed wizard's hat for at Christmas dinner in Philosopher's Stone? Oh, uh, there are. There are like three of there these are, right there. I think I know one. I know. Is it? There's one answer. Uh-huh. He only ever wears one hat <laughs> that, at Christmas dinner for uh, in Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, would you think that he would wear multiple? I don't think this I, is there are well. two answers that are coming to my head. I'm going to put in parentheses my other answer so you can see that. He, I... he pulls it out of one of the, like, the crackers, doesn't he? It is. Uh, okay, let's just go. Right. I'm gonna, I'm I don't know. I've chosen think... the wrong one. Three, two, one. A flowered bonnet. A flowered bonnet? Yes! Is correct. Yes! No way! Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Good job. For some reason, I was thinking of a vulture topped hat. Maybe some. I think he insists that maybe Snape or something wear that. I don't know. Flower oh, Isn't the vulture topped hat what uh, Neville's, what Neville's grandmother, grandmother yeah. wears, but I feel like there's another, oh, like another instance, yeah, another yeah, instance of one. Who did Harry take to Slughorn's Christmas party? Luna! Luna Lovegood. Aww. Question 10. What did Hagrid give Harry for his first Christmas at Hogwarts? A wooden flute. A wooden flute. Carved wooden flute is precisely Yes. Accurate. Carved by him. Yeah. <clears throat> Question 11. What blossomed out of Professor Flitwick's wand to decorate a Christmas tree in Philosopher's Stone? Golden bubbles. Golden bubbles is correct. Oh, uh, dang! Yes, really? Yes. I'm, oh my god! I'm pretty gosh. impressed with that. With that That's one. man, nicely done, dude. Woo. That's I. There you go. That's what's up. Whew. How many things blossom? You know. Dude, I don't even bubbles, know this. Apparently. Bubbles blossom. <laughs> flowers blossom. <laughs> Flower, f flowers. And bubbles. I don't think... Bubbles do not blossom. <laughs> apparently they do. They do when they're magically created. And they're I magically guess. coming out of a wand. Sure. All right, number 12. What gift did Harry receive from the Dursleys during his first Christmas at Hogwarts? I remember a few of them, but I don't know what order it's in. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's like several... Key things that there's three particular gifts that stand out to me. Yeah. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. A fifty cent piece. A f uh, well, it's a fifty pence piece. Which is what I have written. I think that counts. Yeah, we can count it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I put fifty pence piece. I put previously a toothpick on the bottom so that people could see what my my former well, answer was. Question 13. Who gave Harry a luxury eagle feather quill for Christmas in his second year at Hogwarts? Hermione. It's Hermione. You guys were writing your answers down before I even... <laughs> I mean, how many people had a luxury eagle? That's luxury fair, that's fair. Quills. So on question 14? 14. Who nearly broke their teeth on a silver sickle embedded in a slice of Christmas pudding in Philosopher's Stone? What was it in? 
Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's oh, Stone. I'm, I'm sorry, what was the, oh, what was the sickle? Uh, the silver sickle was embedded in a slice of Christmas pudding. You know, the whole idea of a slice of pudding doesn't add up to me. I <coughs> assume pudding is more like cake in England. I think pudding is goopy. I think of pudding yeah, as goopy. Pudding is like goop. Yeah. Like, it doesn't even always leave the spoon if you dispense it from the spoon onto, like, a plate. Right. I'm really glad we don't generally call it goop, because if someone here was like, here's your chocolate goop, I'd be like, nope. <laughs> but that's what it is. I love it. I would buy I would buy goop from the store all day long. Um, three, two, one. Wrong. Percy Weasley. Oh, Percy. Who Gosh. even knows about him? Weatherby. Fifteen. In which book does Hermione give Harry and Ron homework planners for Christmas? I'm changing. Changing? I'm changing. This is tricky. This is tricky. Knowing, like, which one. Although, if it had been in this book, what did she give them? That'd be harder, too. Oh, yeah, that would have been three, two, one. Order of the Phoenix. The correct answer is Order of the Phoenix. Woo! Because of the OWLs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Question 16. Which of these events does not happen on Christmas Day. Harry, Ron, and Hermione take polyjuice potion. Harry has his first kiss. Harry discovers the mirror of Erised. The Yule Ball takes place at Hogwarts. Christmas Day. Christmas Day. Ah. Ah. <sighs> this actually wasn't my first guess, but I think I have a reason why I think I know this is the right answer. Let's, let's right, go. Three, two, one. Polyjuice potion. First kiss. The event that does not happen on Christmas Day is Harry's first kiss. God, you freak! I, that makes. I guess it makes sense because they're about to leave. Because it's before they leave for Christmas. Right. Yes. It's, before it's they the leave last for one. Gosh, I was thinking the polyjuice potion happening on Christmas. I feel like would stand out more to me. But yeah. like even because in my it mind, happens I remember, right after the feast, the Christmas feast. I guess. Right, because I, I think that's actually one where the movie helps me remember it because it's like a like the cupcake scene very yeah, like festive. Yeah. yeah. I think Malfoy's even opening a gift in the movie. He yeah. is. And I think that was what I was I think that's what I thought they were trying to trick you with. Because oh. Malfoy just always gets gifts. Right, right, right. Anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Now we're tied. Alright, question seventeen. <sighs> Mrs. Weasley usually personalizes her Christmas jumpers for Harry, but which of these images has she never used? A dragon? A golden snitch, a lightning bolt, and a Gryffindor lion. I don't actually know. Three, two, one. Lion. What? Lightning bolt. She never puts a lightning bolt mm. on. There we go. Lead regained. It seemed like the lightning bolt would be a little insensitive for Mrs. Weasley. Yeah, like, and, and then once I found, found out the answer, I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's exactly like, what I'm going through right now. It's like, it's like yeah, oh, this, you put my scar from when my parents died? Thanks. <laughs> it's just a symbol of Harry. I know. It's a symbol yeah, of Harry Potter. That's the yeah. trick. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <clears throat> okay. 18. Select all that apply. Which of the following students stayed at Hogwarts for Christmas in Harry's first year? Fred Weasley, Draco Malfoy, Hermione Granger, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, George Weasley. I'm down to, I'm, I'm pretty, mm, it's, there's, whew. Okay, I have an answer. Okay. I don't know. All right, three, two, one. Draco, Harry, and Ron. I had Ron, Fred, George, and Harry. The correct answer is Ron Weasley. Harry Potter, and Fred and George Weasley. Yeah! Dang it. Oh, it. Isn't oh there a gosh. duel in the middle? No, it's in Chamber. Mm. The duel in the middle of the night with Draco? There's, he tricks, he says he wants to duel him, but he doesn't show up. And that's when they're doing, that's I when they discover Fluffy. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, you're right. Mm. I think oh, I was hurts. really unsure. I remember... That Malfoy, obviously, I know that he did stay in Chamber, but that that was different from the year before, so I didn't think he was there. And then I couldn't remember, there's one year where Hermione's like, I'm going skiing with my folks, but then she doesn't go skiing. So why would Fred, like, what was their memory that Fred and George were there? Uh, they come in and they say that Mrs. Weasley, this is when the first time you're introduced to the tradition of the sweaters. Oh, you're and right. they come and they're like, the sweaters. <laughs> and like, we're not stupid, we know our names are Gred and Forge, <laughs> because she puts the letters on them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The Weasleys. The Weasleys. I mean, I love the Weasley brothers. They're, They're very good. The twins. And they're great. Yeah. yeah. Not, maybe not all of them. Percy kind of sucks. Percy. Well, okay. He redeems himself. Mostly Fred and George. Mostly Fred and George. <laughs> all right. Question 19. Sirius sings an unusual version of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. What does he sing instead? Goodness gracious. Do you remember this? <sighs> no. 
Uh, hold on. Is there? Is it multiple choice? It is multiple choice. Okay. I, I would take the multiple choice. I would choice. take it. 100%. Okay. Here we go. God rest ye merry hippogriffs. God rest ye merry hinky punks. God rest ye merry nifflers. And God rest ye merry basilisks. Here we go. Are you Three, ready? Two, one. Hippogriff. Hippogriff. Hippogriff is correct. Woo! I mean, serious. Serious and hippogriffs. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Honestly, I'm glad we went for it because I was going to say, like, God rest ye Harry something. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I don't even think that I was in the right realm of knowing that all we were trying to figure out was changing the last word of... Right. Mm -hmm. God, yeah, I was like, jingle bells. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Question 20. Which spell does Hermione use to levitate the Christmas tree in the three broomsticks to hide herself, Ron, and Harry from view? I'll be super impressed if you get this one. I got it wrong twice. That makes me think it's not the really obvious thing. Okay, that makes me think it's not. That's a hint, because like the obvious choice is regarded Mabiosa. Right. But, yeah. Do you know another levitation spell? Maybe. Dang it! Where are they? The three, uh, the three broomsticks. I, I don't know if I'm right. It's just if I don't, if this isn't it, then like I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I would go multiple choice. No, in that case, I'm going with the guess. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, nope, too bad. <laughs> I have a guess. If you're faking us out and it's Wingardium Leviosa, uh, I'm going to be super mad. I got it wrong twice, is all I say. <laughs> Gosh, I'm just like, this is like trying to remember something that's just, you just don't know. Oh, I know, right? Isn't that annoying? This is like dog bowls. <laughs> <laughs> You were close, though. I was close. This one, I, honestly, I'll be impressed if you get even a little bit close. God, man. All right, I don't know. Three, two, one. Locomotor tree. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, you're, you're actually pretty close. It is not Wingardium Leviosa or Levi Corpus, which are the two that I thought it was. Well, Levi Corpus is this body. It's body. Mobiliarbus. Mobiliarbus. That is ridiculous. <laughs> That's what that is. They don't use that I don't any think, other time. I don't time. think it's any... So, like, oh, why? That, that, why? That word, why? mobili, is in like mobility and arbus is in tree. Uh, mobil... It's, no, you have got a kid. That's mobiliarbus. That, that is stupid. I take issue with that because who would ever learn that? Look, the application for that spell is so minimal. Mobiliarbus. Yes. Like, unless you worked at a Christmas tree farm. It's pretty stupid. I don't like that one. They don't, I bet they don't use that a single other time in the entire I series. Would, unless there's other trees mobili that are moved. <laughs> Question 21. In Chamber of Secrets... What did Fred bewitch Percy's prefect badge to say during Christmas dinner? I feel like it's got to be some type of play on the letter P. Like something that would like look like prefect, so... Right. Did anybody else read it as perfect? Oh, yeah. Ever? That was... That was... A, okay, this was the thing is that our dad... Like the first Harry Potter works our dad read to us, and he... I didn't read it, I swear. Okay. Misread it as perfect. Yes. Yes. And... <laughs> okay, so prefect badge. Chamber of Secrets. I do, it does seem like it would be something off of the word prefect or else you like, like, so he wouldn't notice. Right. So you don't want to go multiple choice on this? <sighs> okay, I would go for it. Okay, yeah. okay. Go ahead. Pinhead, Pimples, Poo Head, and Pompous. Do you know it now? Yep. I feel, I'll explain, but you'll see. Okay. Three, two, one. Pinhead. Pinhead is correct. What'd you say? Pinhead. Ah, uh, I had, I, before we wrote it, I had Big Head written down. Ah. Uh, so I was, oh man, I'm glad we went for the multiple choice, but I was pretty close. You were, that's, that's not bad, that's not bad. I, I honestly, I was trying to think of like some type of, yeah. I was thinking head, but then there's like the head boy, and I was thinking, do they do like Big Head Boy or uh, something? Right, 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 yeah. Maybe, and then, uh, obviously, whatever. Question 22. Who said, come on, cheer up, it's nearly Christmas? Okay. Uh It'd be two. It's two, I'm thinking. Three. Yep. Two. One. Ron. Ron. Rubius Hagrid. No, it was the other one oh, I was thinking! Man. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Okay. All right, 23. Select all that apply. Name all of the chapters whose events do not take place during the Christmas period. So select all the names of the chapters that do not take place over Christmas. Okay. 
The Beetle at Bay, Flight of the Fat Lady, The Polyjuice Potion, The Mirror of Erised, and The Yule Ball. So we're selecting the ones that are not... Which ones do not take place over Christmas? Okay. All that do not apply to Christmas. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. And The Beetle at Bay and The Flight of the Fat Lady. That's correct. Nice. That was not super clear, but... Woo! Whew, man. Well, we've already heard of, talked about the Polyjuice Potion anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I knew and the that the, ball. the Mirror of Eris had too is one where he, he gets there uh, with the Invisibility the cloak. cloak. Yeah. So, made sense. Okay, so 24. 24. Woo! In Prisoner of Azkaban, what was the name of the extremely nervous-looking first year who Dumbledore offers Chipolatas to at Christmas lunch? Man, this is... Specific. Do you have a do you have like a like a, a reasoning for it? I do. I do too. Is it first year? The prisoner of Azkaban. He is an extremely nervous looking first year. Okay. Okay. So it's two years below Harry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I three, two, one. So Devin Creevy. His name is Derek. No way. Just Derek. Yeah. Just that's just, all. Just yep. Derek. Derek. Well, that's not <laughs> how. Is that Colin's brother's name, Devin? I don't, I don't know. Remember. I put Cravey's little brother because oh. I couldn't remember. <laughs> what it was. Was. <laughs> and so I, we thought it was the same person. I, I figured, at worst case scenario, even if I got it wrong, the people at home would be like, "Okay, well, he knew who it was." He right. Just couldn't get the name. But it turns out I didn't even know who it was. So there you go. That's Derek. Derek. Yeah. Derek. Derek. Blag. <laughs> Blag. Good callback. <laughs> who of the following? did not attend Slughorn's Christmas party. Hermione Granger, Albus Dumbledore, Severus Snape, or Professor Trelawney? Is it just one? Just one did not attend Slughorn's Christmas party. Okay. I'm good. You're good? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with, yeah, three, two, one. Dumbledore! Ah, I said Snape. The answer is Albus Dumbledore. Boom! Dang it! Yeah, Snape's there. Snape's there. I thought Malfoy sneaks up. And reports to... Snape's there. He's not supposed to be there, but Snape's there. Right. I think because Malfoy's there. Oh. Okay. If that well, had been okay. select all that apply, I probably would have put Trelawney, too, because I don't remember. Yeah. I feel like Trelawney smelled like something. Like she sherry. Was drink- she had drinking too much sherry. Always. All right. Question 26. Complete Ron's sentence when he reacts to Harry's surprise at getting presents. What did you expect? Blank. Man, so this has got to be a sorcerer stone. Yes. I know if I hear if I heard it, I would know it. Do you want to do multiple choice? I think so. Okay. The answers are parsnips, turnips, sprouts, coal. Three, right. three, two, one. Parsnips. Turnips. The answer is turnips. No! Oh, yeah! No! Ah, oh, come on! Shouldn't have gone for the multiple choice. Still didn't know it. Huh? <laughs> Still didn't <laughs> know it. Gave you the answer there. That stinks. I think we're tied again. Actually, when I heard parsnips, and I, I thought it was like a root vegetable. Oh. And so I was like, oh, crap. You know, my guess before we heard was bogeys. For <laughs> <laughs> I hate that they call them. Like, I, I'm sure that that's like a British thing. Instead like, of bogeys. boogers. <laughs> Bo- booger. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to say it without sounding like super southern <laughs> booger. <laughs> All right, question 27. Who is the first character Harry sees on Christmas Day in Goblet of Fire? I could be wrong, but I have a thought. Three, two, one. Dobby. Neville. Dobby. Oh, dang. Doesn't Neville, like, isn't the Yule Ball on Christmas Eve and Neville comes in dancing in the middle of the night? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I think I do. Like, he comes home super late. Right. So I would have thought it was like, he woke up sure. to the devil coming home. I think all I could really think was like, the only reason it wouldn't be Ron is because he was abruptly awoken and Dobby just sort of does that. Yeah, I remember that now. All right, question 28. What did Harry get Ron for Christmas in their fourth school year? Do you have the answer? I have an answer. Um... But I know that I'm wrong for the same reason I have an answer. And I'll explain it once we reveal. I feel like I know what your guess might be based on that. But let's see. Okay, 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 okay. This is... You ready? Uh, Wait, no. (laughs) No. Hold on, I might have it. Oh, no. I might have it, I think. Oh, 
no. Okay. Let's this see. is such a trick question. Let's see. All right. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. A Chudley Cannon's hat. I said some kind of Quidditch hat. <laughs> a Chudley Cannon hat is correct. Yeah. Which is some kind of Quidditch hat. So you're not wrong. It's not a specific. It's, we don't have to give it a point. I <laughs> couldn't. I couldn't remember if it was Chudley Cannons or not. The thing about this particular one is that Harry buys the omnioculars for him at the Quidditch World mm -hmm. Cup and uh -huh. says, "I don't owe you a Christmas present for ten years." And so I put omnioculars first. Oh, trick thinking question. that was the right. that was like what the gift was. But I'm pretty sure there's also the situation. Oh no! What is it? There's something with the gold. Ron gives him gold at one point in time. That's at the, the leprechaun he, gold. The leprechaun, yeah. he pays him back for the omnioculars with the leprechaun gold. And then it disappears. And then and is all like upset later when he realizes that Harry didn't even notice the gold disappeared. Oh, I was like, I hate being poor. I thought you were thinking of like a Quidditch, like the, the gloves or the broom compass. Yeah. Um, and I was like, but obviously Ron's not on the team yet, so anyway. Yeah, you also just brought up two gifts. I know, I know. I should have said anything. Yeah. Should, should, how many, how many, that? How many questions All those about were what? answers in the question. The broom and the uh, the gloves. Yeah. If I would have gotten the hat. I would have, I think that, that would have been my... Yeah, I think sure, if you saw if it, you would have gotten it. Question 29. How many Christmas trees does Hagrid bring into Hogwarts each year? Three, two, one. Twelve. Twelve is Woo! correct. I was thinking 13. <laughs> I was like, a baker's dozen, right? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> But is it, is it, like, 12? Like, it could have been 13 for, like, the like a center one. Like, six on each side plus a center. Yeah. I was yeah. like... Oh Thir boy. 13 was the number that immediately came to mind. So I wasn't, it wasn't even that far off. I know. I was like, I'm just going with what instinct on right. that one. 30. Question 30. What was the name of the vampire who attended Slughorn's Christmas party? Do you know this? Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. Bamf. I feel like I'm getting a, I'm getting a small lead, maybe. Yeah, you're pulling ahead hard here at the end. There's only a few more questions. There's like five more questions. What are we on, 30? Uh, this is question 30. Okay, if I get this one right and you don't, then I'll, I think I'll have a two-question lead. You'll, you'll have clinched? Not clinched. There's plenty of questions left. Because there's, uh, there's like multiple conversations about the, like about um, this particular thing, isn't there? Yes. I'm trying to remember if it's, if it's like a famous name or if it's a Harry Potter name. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's uh, Sanguini? <laughs> Dracula! It's, it's, it's Sanguini is Woo! correct. I hate you for knowing that. <laughs> I just hate you. Who remembers Sanguini? All well, I, think sanguine. I definitely was thinking Linguini, and I was like, that's Pixar. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's why. Question 31. Which gift did Harry give to Arthur Weasley when he spent Christmas in St. Mungo's? This can't be right. This isn't a thing you can give people. Oh. Uh, mmm. This isn't a thing you can... I don't know how long you... you I don't... Okay. This is... Uh, I know it's something... Anyway. Three, it's just, two, one. I said plugs? Screwdrivers? The answer is fuse wire and screwdrivers. Oh! I'll give you that one, but... <laughs> like, how do you give someone a plug? He does give him spark plugs at one point. Does he give him spark plugs? Yeah. Not, not in this instance, but he does give him spark plugs. I was plugs. thinking it was, I was first thinking wall sockets, and then I was thinking batteries, but I, he just collects batteries. I don't think he gives them to, uh, and then I was like, how do you give someone a wall socket? How do you, <laughs> how do you give someone just the plug? <laughs> how are you going to wake up dead? <laughs> no, whatever. Okay, fine. I'll get dumb. All right. Screwdriver. I hate you for knowing that. Screwdrivers, because he likes he likes. I know. Well, I knew it was something Muggle. Oh. Which Christmas Carol can the Hogwarts suits of armor be heard singing in *Goblet of Fire*? Ah, oh, what a! I don't know. Is it something specific about like soldiers? Uh, the only I uh, I only have a guess. And you don't want to get multiple choice. I don't because if we're so close to the end and I have a lead and I feel like <laughs> the last time it backfired. So like at this point I'm okay. I'm it's better I'm better off if we just both get it wrong. And I feel like even because this is like a British story, that it's less likely to be like one of the very common American sure. carols. Like it's certainly not like Frosty or Rudolph or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> totally. <Yeah. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I agree. It's probably something much more traditional. But, like, it could still be something, like, sort of Christian. But, eh, we'll see. Three, two, one. I said deck the halls. I said deck the halls. Deck the halls is not correct. Oh, oh man. You're going to fake out. Yeah. Oh, come all ye faithful. Oh, uh, okay. See, at least I was not wrong. Like, I was, I was yeah. like, they're in the corridor, so it makes sense. That's exactly sure. what I thought. That, yeah. that would be... Yeah. That would be very funny, actually. Yeah. I'm so glad that we put the same thing, though, because yeah. it makes me feel like, okay, I'm going to have the same trade of thought. <laughs> right. What color fastenings must a Hogwarts student have on their winter cloaks? What color fastenings uh -huh. must they have? Must, must they, they have on their winter cloaks? Why would it matter? Why? On their winter cloaks. I don't know. When would this be covered? I don't even know when they would have said like, I don't know why, yeah. Harry, don't forget your blank fastenings. I'm, all I have is a guess. Three, two, one. Silver? Yellow? The correct answer is silver. Woo! <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! Are you oh for gosh. real? That is amazing! <laughs> no way! Why? I don't even know. I have no idea. That was a total guess. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Boy, that's just dumb luck right there. All I could think was that, like, silver is kind of white and s snow. That that was about it. I was trying to think of something that would be, like, distinct from snow so that, like, you... Right, sure. For, but they wear black cloaks. It's not like yeah. you have to worry about... I have no idea. That's weird. Oh, man. I don't know where it says that in the books at all, but... Okay. All right, question 34. In Goblet of Fire... What color socks does Ron get for Christmas from his mum? He gives them to Dobby, doesn't he? So he gets them, and they're hideous. Yes. So he gives them away. Three, two, go. I said maroon again. I said mustard. Violet. Violet. Wow. Why would his mom give him purple socks? I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes you think Miss Weasley just hates Ron. I know. <laughs> like, like, come on. Why like, why is he the only one who gets, like, the hideous dress robes? I know. Like, she's got multiple other students at the school at that time. <laughs> I know. Question 35, the final question. Oh, boy. What did Hermione give to Creature as a Christmas present? Is the, this... Okay, it has to be... But, ah! Okay, I have an answer, but... Three, two, one. A scarf? Quilt. The answer is a patchwork quilt. Frack! Yes! Man, I think we <laughs> might have tied. I don't know. I have, I think... I think I have 22. Oh, if you have 22, then you crushed me. Oh. <laughs> I, think I, have, I think I have 17. Oh. I don't Woo! think it's that much well, of a difference. Derek will know. It'll be on screen. Somehow on we'll screen. know who won. We'll but either way, won. it's Christmas and it's, we're just excited to be together. Go. Absolutely. Man. That was, that, those were hard. Those were those hard. were hard. That because was, they're not like plot related, really, yeah. for the most part. So I don't think we like focus on them as much. Yeah, honestly, going into this, because I knew that, yeah, you're exactly right. Because they were non-plot related items, they could be so ridiculously specific. And yeah. oftentimes they had so little to do with anything. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe that Sirius's uh, knife key was not an answer to a question. Oh, I know. That was one where I was like, at least I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have that. I had a feeling Hagrid's flute would come up, which it did. Ha yeah, that one. Well, that yeah. one was easy because of Fluffy. <clears throat> right. Like, the whole... It, that one is plot-driven. It is plot-driven, As is yeah. the Invisibility Cloak. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm So, huh. Okay. I lost two in a row. <sighs> the wind shriek is alive! Like you lost to Jay's lucky guesses. Uh, at least like, on a few like of them. The, the silver... The silver fastenings, maybe. I feel like the other ones were pretty good. I don't know what else I guessed on. <laughs> totally. Totally. Well, either way, it was a great year of Super Carlin Brothers. Oh, yeah. It was. We hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah. And be sure to let us know how you did on the quiz in the towel section mm, did, down I knew below. I got a perfect. I just don't believe you yeah. while you're cheating. Yeah, there are so many people that will tweet me after we take these. And they're like, look, I got a perfect score. It's like... How many tries? How many tries? How many tries? Did you look up the answers? I'm seeing through you right now yeah. because that would be so unheard of. It'd be hard. It'd be hard. Such an absurd working knowledge. All right. Well, so I think that's all for today. This is already a long video. So yep. until next time. Bye. Bye.